Hello again from Info on Scuba Diving. This is possibly going to be a slightly lengthy video, but please bear with me because this box contains quite a few products uh, that we have to go through. And uh, I want to take a little bit of time just to go through them with you. It's come all the way from Hawaii, so Aloha Hawaii, Hawaii. and it's come from Intova. And uh, Joe Ganahl there is the president at Intova, and they make digital cameras. Oh, we've even got a, a Hawaiian newspaper, look, star advertiser. Um, Monday the 16th of the 9th. Okay, well, not so much interested in what's in the newspaper, but we are interested in what's in the box. And what we have are quite a few products. There's a couple of video lights, and uh, this is the first one. Let's just push the box to one side for now. And this is a underwater video light, the Galaxy. And we've got two of these, as I say. I've been waiting ages to get my hands on some of these, and this is going to really make a big difference to our underwater filming. I'm so pleased. Look at this. It's in a lovely, lovely bag as well. The Galaxy light is a two and a half thousand lumen LED light which is waterproof to 400 foot. It's a 140 degree wide beam and it's powered by a, a lithium battery providing an hour's burn time at full power or two hours at half power. Three hours at 30% power even. Uh, there's a video mount and you'll see, we have got some mounts for this so you'll see this in a bit as well. So nicely presented. There's a little uh, quick start guide there for us. And a warranty sheet. And in here we have got some spare O-rings by the look of it. Some silicon grease to uh, keep those seals nice and uh, lubricated. Uh, it's quite well packed in here, isn't it? How do we get this out? This looks like the main body. So that's the body of the, uh, the light, where the battery is inside. And this is the actual business end. I can see it's already been uh, pre-lubricated as well. That's the front there, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six LEDs. So let's just screw that together and see if we can get uh, anything out of it. I'm sure there'll be a bit of a charge in it. I'm not sure how you actually switch it on at the moment. Oh yes, there's a rotating ring. So if we just tighten it up and a little bit more, make sure it's good. Incredible that this is good to 400 feet. So, oh yes, there is power. <laughs> wow, that is bright, and that is a wide beam on that as well. That really is a wide beam. If I turn off the light I'm using to film the video with, the main studio light, and that uh, AGC kicks in. Yes, it's a colder light. It's a blue light. That's full power. That's 50%. And that's 30%, but there's still, and if I cover that up, you can see the difference that's making at 30% power. Wow, that is going to cut through the dark nicely. Very, very nice. Right, I'm going to put the main light back up again. So uh, that's back on full. Turn that off. Now, this is a heck of a lot lighter than any lights we've had before. We've had uh, halogen lights before. This actually weighs one pound 8.6 ounces. And that is it. So two of those, about three pounds. Compare that to the battery pack I had, which used to strap on my tank, and that was seven kilos, just purely for a battery pack for a couple of 50 watt halogen lights. And that is incredible. So. We've also got with this a whole choice of uh, charging uh, socket adapters. That's the actual charger itself. I'm not sure how long it takes to recharge, but that's the basic charger. And then you get uh, all these different um, 
adapters to go onto it and of course this one here for uh, the UK uh, and also places like the Seychelles as well and then you've got um, other ones for uh, other countries so that's the Galaxy Lite we've got two of those as I say so that's really good let's just put that to one side very quickly so we can crack on with uh, having a look at what else is in the box so we know we've got two of those there's the other one so we put that up there out the way the other thing we've got mainly is a Sport HD 2. Now, uh, a while ago, some of you may have seen the uh, unboxing we did for the H Sport HD. We did take it on a couple of jobs, but there were some firmware problems. Uh, I had to do a firmware update whilst I was abroad one time, but um, it did have a couple of problems with it, so they very kindly updated us, we've sent the other one back to them and uh, we've now got the Sport H2, uh, HD2 which gives uh, a lot more facilities than the previous one did. Same sort of styling, same packaging in terms of there's a viewfinder built in, the whole thing is integral, the battery is integral, a uh, load of buttons there to give you menu options but what this has that the previous one didn't is uh, a, a diving mode with an electronic red filter so it'll actually help compensate for that loss of reds as we go down uh, further. Uh, it's also got motion detection uh, in video mode and recording starts when motion is detected. You can also take a picture in the video mode so take still, still pictures whilst you're doing video and it also does 60 frames a second at 720p so that means that your slow motion uh, shots will be a bit better. Uh, this has also got a 140 degree angle view uh, for the lens and this is good to a depth I think of about uh, 100 feet. I think I may be wrong, let's see, does it say on the front there? Uh, very quickly I did write all this down, so apologies for not being too sure offhand. I can't see it. I can't see the spec on Oh, 200 feet. 200 feet, that's good too. So this is the updated version of the Sport HD, um, and that's the HD2. It's a full 1080 camera, though, of course, as you would expect, and as you can see. So uh, that's another good thing. Uh, a couple of other things we've got here, well, three other things. Uh, one thing to go with the camera is actually a close-up lens which works in the water or, or on the surface. If you're underwater there's a little uh, uh, gap in it so that the water can get in between the main body of the camera lens and this lens. And this means that you can underwater uh, actually focus um, underwater between six inches to three and a half feet, so that's 15 centimetres to one metre. Uh, so that's going to really be nice to uh, get up onto the, uh, the reefs and uh, any nice coral or any little tiny fish, any details. So that's a nice little addition as well, the macro lens uh, for the Sport HD. So they're going to be rather nice together, those two. Now the most important thing for the lighting of course is how the heck do you uh, actually get it to uh, fit on the camera and what we've got here is a double bracket and this is the base tray double. This is designed to fit on a whole range of uh, Intovis uh, cameras, the still, and the, the still range and the videos and that as you can see has got a thread here which uh, mates up with the, the thread on the camera itself and then on here you've got the uh, uh, brackets for two flexi arms and what we've bought there uh, with flexi arms is actually we've got a couple of uh, 18 centimeter flexi arms you can get 30 centimeter ones but we thought no we'll just go with these short ones because I don't really want arms all over the place um, when I'm out filming and this looks like these just uh, slide over so let's just have a quick look at that and indeed they slide over there and then you uh, tighten up this nut here to hold it on just tighten that in that's it that's nice and tight and then if I grab one of the galaxy lights this obviously unscrews from here 
I won't put the other one on for now. I'm just doing the one. So uh, that just goes on there. Quite a nice tight fit, which is good. And I'll line that up, put the bolt through, tighten him up to the thread. And see how that goes. And that, that's quite nice if we look at that. So imagine that with two of these. So the camera's down here, and then we can aim that at uh, wherever we need to aim it. And that, that's going to be fantastic. And uh, nice cushioned handles, so you can actually hold on to the, the brackets like that, get some good steady shots. But this time we're going to have some decent lighting. So that is what we've got in the box today from Intova. And thanks very much for them just sending it uh, as quick as they could. It did get held up in customs here in the UK. Well, there's a surprise, uh, but there we go. So we now have a Sport HD2, a close-up lens for it, two of the Galaxy lights, and a nice set of brackets. So this is going to be one heck of a nice system. And the other good thing about this, by the way, is that you can also use this lighting system on other cameras, of course. So that's going to be really nice. There we go. What do you think of that? Please comment, rate us, and above all, subscribe to us for more videos. We do have some overseas trips coming up shortly, and I will be taking this with us. So stand by for those and the full review of this equipment. But for now, from Informed Scuba Diving, thanks for watching.